it's fair. 22 uh, in, in today's tip show you a little tool in here, which is in among the frame tools, which you may not be aware of, in particular some of the shortcuts on it. With the rectangle frame tool here, if I click and hold down, you'll see there's also an ellipse and a polygon frame tool. And I just wanted to pick out the polygon frame tool and single that out one just for a couple of observations. So with the polygon frame tool, if you click and drag, keep that finger on the mouse, you can resize it. Same shortcuts that you see on the rectangle and ellipse, you can hold the space key down to reposition it if you wanted to. And equally, if you held the shift key down, it forces the proportions to be constrained as well, so you get a nice kind of um, polygon shape on there. But I wanted to show you a couple of other tips. Now, on the rectangle and ellipse, you'll possibly remember, if you use the arrow keys on the keyboard, you get multiples like so. But if you press the space bar once and then use the arrows, you can change the shape on these. You can add points, change the indent spacing with the left and right arrows, remove points with the down arrow or add them with the up arrow. And when you're done, you have the shape that you wanted, you can then press the space bar once again and those arrows go back to making multiples. So the space bar is now, if you just press it instead of holding it, is acting as a toggle between two different modes. Press it, change the shape, press it again, make more. So nice easy way to just change the shape of some of those polygons uh, when you're working over in InDesign.